What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Jack Hammer Road to Glory here in his junior season. We are in week 10. The Gophers are on a bit of a losing streak right now and they take on another tough opponent. Here you can see four losses in a row including three in the Big Ten Conference and it's not going to get much easier. Four out of their last five games are against currently ranked opponents. And first we're going to start it off with a battle for the Floyd of Rosedale against the Iowa Hawkeyes. So here is Jack Hammer and the Minnesota Gophers here at TCF Bank Stadium. Ready to go to the field and try to break this losing streak and take home a rivalry trophy. So into the game we go. Minnesota out to a 6-0 lead here in the first quarter. Quarterback decides to take off. Jack gets blocked and the quarterback will make it to the Minnesota 40 yard line. We go ahead to third down and one. Jack back in pass coverage. Quarterback wants to take off again and he will not quite pick up the first down yardage. So Jack now he's going to try to go in and get the running back but he was blocked and the running back fumbles after picking up the first down and the Gophers take the ball over. They would not do anything with the drive and Iowa quickly finds themselves back close to Gopher territory and there I was sure he was going to come across the middle but they ended up throwing the pass a little bit earlier than I thought they would and they get the first down. We go forward to third down and six and the pass is going to end up being incomplete. The Hawkeyes kick a field goal and Minnesota actually scores a touchdown so it's 13 to three but Iowa looking to go deep now one on one and the catch is made by the Iowa receiver deep into Gopher territory. And so now they find themselves back in the scoring range. Third down and eight. Pass over the middle is intercepted. Another turnover for the Gophers defense as they continue to play well this year. It's still 13-3 later in the third quarter. Quarterback decides he wants to take off and he's going to meet Jack Hammer. No gain on the play. So now third down and five out of the shotgun to throw. Over the middle, the pass right in front of Jack Hammer. But Hammer forces a fumble and the Gophers recover again. So the Hawkeyes having trouble keeping the possession today. A lot of turnovers for the defense of the Gophers. Hawkeyes have it later. Second and two. Quarterback taken off. Another fumble. The Hawkeyes keep possession at least. New set of downs for Iowa, and handoff goes to the running back, and Jack's going to get him. Nice tackle, no gain. Forward now third down and one. Minnesota looking for a stop, but the running back will cut up field, get a big gain, go past Jack and the rest of the defense inside the Minnesota 10-yard line, making it a goal-to-go situation. Here is third down out of the shotgun. Jack is going to be in pass coverage. Pass goes inside the five, and then the receiver is tackled, so now fourth down and goal to end the third quarter quarterback goes to the end zone it's nearly intercepted knocked away by a Minnesota defender and the defense once again holds with the offense only giving us a 10 point cushion right now to work with but at least with a minute and a half to go Minnesota's kind of comfortable Jack misses here I actually went for the hit stick like I do too often and the Hawkeyes are going down the field now third down and inches over the middle another catch this time by their star receiver as we're now under a minute to go in the game, third down and seven. Pass is complete, but Jack meets the receiver and tackles him short of the first down marker, making it fourth down and two. Jack will be back in pass coverage, run up the middle, and the first down is made. And Minnesota just trying to keep Iowa out of the end zone now. Just over 20 seconds to go, third down and 18. Quarterback is going to be tackled after three yards. And fourth down now, Jack playing very soft, but the quarterback once again wants to take off. He doesn't want to get hit by Jack Hammer. He just slides and accepts the fact that Iowa just got beat by the Minnesota Gophers. And the Floyd of Rosedale can stay right here in Minneapolis as Minnesota has won a rivalry game against a top 25 opponent and has gotten their first victory against a Big Ten team. Jack gets eight tackles, one forced fumble, but the road doesn't get too much easier. Now we got Michigan State this time on the road, 22nd ranked team in the nation. We will get into the action now. All gold uniforms for the Gophers and Jack Hammer on third and inches. He is going to tackle the running back for a loss and that will end the Spartans drive. But we go ahead now later in the first quarter. Pitch out for the running back and Jack is there again. Now the Spartans have third down and nine, back to pass, and I was sure he was going to throw it short, but instead he throws it long, and it's going to be intercepted by the Gophers in the end zone. That is the end of the Spartans' drive, but the offense for Minnesota, not very reliable. No points, and now pass over the middle for Michigan State. That is going to be good for a first down as they're deep into Gophers' territory now. Another pitch outside on third and two. 
but Jack is all over the field today making tackles. I was a little rusty coming back to play some more Jack Hammer, but I'm getting used to it again. Spartan's going to go for it on fourth down and one, and Jack's just going to sit right in front of the receiver and dare the quarterback to throw. Instead, he goes to the end zone, and it's nearly intercepted, so another defensive stand for the Gophers, but still no points, no score at all right now, and the running back takes a nice move to avoid Jack Hammer and pick up the first down, but now the Spartans third down and 11. Jack, he's looking to blitz. Tackle doing a good job of keeping him away from the quarterback, and the quarterback goes over the middle, and the pass is incomplete, bringing up fourth down, and they were going to attempt a field goal, and the kick is up and good. And so the first points of the game are finally scored late in the first half. 3-0, but Minnesota gets a touchdown now in the second half. Second down and seven, and Jack Hammer. He laid the hammer that time. Big hit for Jack. Here you can see the receiver making the catch, and, well, hope the two yards was worth it because he just got destroyed by... A dominating middle linebacker and now the running back once again he's going to get the first down this time on third down and five as the Spartans advance down the field but Jack makes another nice tackle in the backfield to stop the running back for no gain as he is getting a lot of tackles so far especially on the running back another attempt now and this time Jack got beat to the punch and the running back was stopped short of the first down marker but the Spartans going for it fourth down and one and Jack is not able to get the running back until he gets the first down and the Spartans continue their drive pass now deep to the end zone and it is caught by a Michigan State receiver great catch in the back of the end zone I gotta give him props that was a nice catch touchdown Spartans it's 10 to 7 now late in the third quarter and the Gophers is trying to get the ball back for their offense and hope they can eventually get some more points only seven right now not a lot of help for the Gophers defense third down and eight and here the Spartans pick up the first down and so their drive is going to keep going now a new set of downs third and three Jack is there to make another stop and force fourth down and the Spartans will kick the field goal and the kick is up but it is short and Minnesota gets the ball back but they don't get any points so the defense has to just keep going keep being consistent and hope that eventually the offense will give him some insurance and hopefully get the lead back for him but third down and seven Jack looking for a stop pass goes over the middle and it is going to fall incomplete fourth down and seven the Spartans kick another field goal and once again this kick is short so now we're gonna watch some Gophers offense here's the quarterback back to pass he's gonna take off and slide after getting four yards trying to get close to at least force overtime third down and six pass to the left side is going to fall incomplete so now fourth down and six Gophers want to kick a field goal it is up but it is no good and how short was it well here you can see in the replay not really that close Field goal is well short. Should have just thrown it to the end zone. Michigan State goes on to win 10-7. And Jack Hammer and the Gophers play Michigan next. Another tough opponent here in the Big Ten. As the Big Ten looks to be a very powerful conference right now. But guys, thank you for watching the episode. I'll see you guys next time as we advance towards the end of Jack's junior season.